attacking! got an armored dozer. They're probably going to use it to bust their way into the mansion. Give it some cover and it might get you inside the compound. Naomi's lab is somewhere inside those mansion grounds. Go, Proceed go, immediately. Go. Infiltrate the place and find out where she is. Let's go! 
Then we'll have to make a lot of changes. Yes, that's right. We'll need another go at it. But that won't be a problem. Uh-huh. Yes.
next test. Naomi. And things on your end? I see. We're on schedule here as well. I know. Me too. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> I knew you'd come. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. I haven't seen you since Shadow Moses. How long? Ten years? Nine. And Dr. Emmerich, is he with you? Why? I thought he'd be the only one able to open the mail I sent. Not many people could recognize a 4D sound data in a Soliton radar file. How is the good doctor? Otacon's fine. He's the same as ever. Otacon? I see. Who were you just talking to? Liquid. Although I suppose he's really Ocelot, from a medical standpoint. I thought he was here. He's not, at the moment. Where are all the guards? They know I won't escape. I'm powerless to resist. I have no choice but to cooperate. What you saw was the soldiers' emotions run amok. Another product of the system. You don't trust me? I'm not sure yet. And if I answer your question? Let's hear it first. Liquid. We thought the SOP was an ID control system designed primarily to maintain order and control in battle. Huh. And we were right. But only partially. SOP had another function. To control people's senses. The nanomachines inside soldiers' bodies adapt to different conditions, promoting the release of neurotransmitters, hormones, and stimulants, giving them an edge in battle. They can create an artificial combat high by releasing endorphins at the same time a soldier kills an enemy. Or they can suppress hormones to neutralize the soldier's emotions, prevent them from panicking and engaging in friendly fire or needless massacres. It's all controlled by the system's core AI. It artificially controls the soldier's pain, emotion, senses, in other words, the essence of his being. The skyrocketing demands of the war economy have fueled the demand for more soldiers and more fighting. This in turn led to the development of technologies to rapidly improve their combat abilities and control their actions. The system ensures a steady supply of battle-optimized soldiers at a minimum of cost. But you, of all people, must understand, Snake, that unlike combat technique, a soldier's senses can't be taught. They must be earned through experience. Does this have something to do with that test of yours? The goal was to release the soldiers' nanomachines from the system. But we didn't know about the mental control. And the nanomachines went berserk? No. Our test was a success. At least it confirmed our hypothesis at the time. 
Just as we predicted, the nanomachine stopped functioning, and the PMC soldiers were freed from the grips of the system. But the moment the system stopped, all the pain and fury and sorrow, all the trauma and stress, all the hatred, regret, guilt, all the sensations that had been suppressed were unleashed within their hearts. Their memories, unlike their senses, weren't erased. Each enemy soldier they'd killed, each lost comrade, each threat of violence against the innocent, every act of war they'd committed was etched firmly in their hearts. In suppressing the user's mind, the nanomachines exact a heavy burden on his heart. The user's body rejects the nanomachines. This reaction must then be suppressed with drugs. Before the user knows it, his mind is in complete shambles. Snake, remember Frank? Frank Yeager, Gray Fox. They twisted his body for their experiments and nullified his broken heart with nanomachines. SOP has taken it even further and applied it to living human beings. The sins of war these soldiers carried inside them returned to assault them in the form of unimaginable shell shock. The meaning in the system may have changed, but the battlefield hasn't. Until that point, war was like a game to them. And then suddenly, reality came crashing down. Ordinarily, our hearts are hardened through experience. Even the most grizzled veterans live with an inescapable guilt they've had to overcome bit by bit through the years. And even then, it never truly goes away. For a mind lacking that essential experience, it was simply too much to bear. But what about me? I've never been under the system's control. That's why I want to examine your body. You need to know too. All right, Snake. Undress. Snake, what's gotten into you? Hurry up. Snake, do you remember what I told you in my video mail about the first generation of nanomachines? Mm -hmm. The ones you stuck me with at Moses. Yes. The nanomachines are recharged by your body heat. They won't stop functioning until they're all Just extracted. Relax. Or until you do. Most of them were lost through bleeding and excretion, but around 30% still remain inside your body, That's attached enough. to your cells. Not finished yet. The first generation were never ID registered, so they don't react in the same way as the SOP nanomachines. Ready? But they may be interfering with your body and with your heart. Hmm. So, does the aging have something to do with Fox Dye, too? No. Your telomeres were intentionally set up to be short, regardless of the age of the original. One of the genes that inhibit reproduction and aging, the Clotho gene, was intentionally mutated as well. But more importantly, your chromosomes, 
like liquids, were provided with Terminator genes to prevent them from making copies. Why? Your clones created for one purpose, war. And so, in order to prevent you from being abused by clients or stolen by the enemy, they shortened your lifespan and removed your ability to reproduce. It was a safety device to ensure that the seed of Big Boss didn't end up in the hands of others. The reason you're aging so rapidly isn't because of disease or faulty research or fox dye. It's how you were born. It's your natural lifespan. 